Hey guys, this is Dabson Ishmael. First of all, Merry Christmas wherever you find yourself. Now in today's tutorial, let's talk about Loti animations. Loti animations are lightweight animations that can be used as part of your website in WYSIWYG Web Builder version 17. So these are how the animation look like and you can use them as page loaders and so on on your website. So to get started, let's go ahead and then launch Loti animations in WYSIWYG Web Builder. So in your toolbox, you search for Loti animation, you click on it, and then you draw on your canvas. Once you double click on it, you have a couple of um, things here you need to um, specify to be able to get your animation working. The first thing is general. Under general, you have your file name. So this is where you specify the path of your animation. There are two ways to go about it. It's either you are selecting the animated file from your system or you are going to head over to lotifiles.com to select from their custom animations that they have designed there. So on lotifiles.com, you might want to create an account to be able to have access to the animated files. And then after doing so, you head over to discover and then under discover, you click on free animations. Now under free animations, you have so many animations to work with and you can even browse through the categories that are here to select a specific animation you would want. You can equally search in the search bar for animations. Just in case you've decided on the animation you would want to use, what you do next is simply clicking on the animation and then you are going to take be taken to the details of the animation. Now the cool part about this is you can also go ahead to customize the look or feel of the animation before you go ahead to use it in your project. You have the chance to specify the speed, the background color, or even edit um, the layers of colors of the animation before you go ahead to use it. Now, once you're done with all this, there are two ways to go ahead to use the animation from here. One is either you download the animation as a JSON file where you have it on your system or even a GIF, then you are able to include it in your Wizard Web Builder project. And then the other way is to simply copy the link of this animation. So I'm going to go ahead to use this approach. So I'll simply copy the link, come over to Visual Web Builder version 17, and then paste my link over here. Let me just go ahead to click on OK and then preview this in the browser. So as you can see, I have my animation over here, which is played the way it was playing on the original website that is lutifiles.com. So if I come back here, I there are other configurations that I can do or set as part of my animation. But even before then, one may ask, what is the best way to include the animation? Is it to download them or to include them from um, that is lutifiles.com? Well, the best way I would personally recommend is to include them from lutifiles.com. Now, the reason is because these animated files are already hosted on lotifiles.com. So once you include them, the link in your website, it is easier for your website to load these files from lotifiles on your website. However, when you download them and you specify or include them directly from your system, these files are going to be uploaded to your server. Now, depending on the size of the files, it might take some time to load the files once you try to preview your website, which will affect the load you know, time or the size of the page as well as the load time of your pages on your website. So I highly recommend you use it um, use it by using the links here. Or yeah, if you'd want to still go ahead to download, then you can go ahead to do so. So let's come back to WYSIWYG Web Builder. So the next thing here is Trigger. Our trigger shows how you'd want the animation to behave. By default, you have unload. Unload means once you load your page, then the animation plays or takes place. Then the next one is hover. Once you put your cursor on the animated file or loti animation over here, then it is going to play. Click is once you click on the loti animation, then it is going to play. And then you have scroll. So there are two scrolls over here. One is as you scroll once, then animation takes place. And then the next one is as you continuously scroll, the animation play in bits based on the way you scroll your pages. And 
you notice that once we selected school, we have this viewport section activated. So this allows you to specify where on your page or where on your screen you would want the animation to take place or play at. And then you have loop animation. So this, if you want the animation to play continuously, this is what you use to control that as well as you have show controls. If you want to be able to um, start, stop, and then even loop the animation, you have that controls over here. So you have play, you have stop, and then you have uh, the loop icon over here as well. And then after that, you also have um, play mode. So play mode is how you'd want the animation to play. Do you want it to play in a normal mode or you would want it to bounce? And then you also have the chance to specify the speed of the animation as well. And then under layout, in case you are using this in a layout grid, you have the chance to specify whether you'd want the animation to be full width or you'd want it to um, just be a normal size animation. So basically, this is how to go about using a Loti file animation or a Loti animation in your Wizard Web Builder version 17 project. In case you are new to this channel, kindly go ahead and hit on the subscribe button. And then don't forget to hit on the bell so that anytime there's a new video, you get to see it. Once again, my name is Dabson Ishmael. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.